is Willow Rose Moon Dancer. I make videos about Wicca here on YouTube, and I also make blog posts about Wicca on my website, wiccansartwiccan.com. Today, we are going to be talking about the Wiccan read, everything that's in it, and what it all means. Um, usually, I have a few bullet point notes beside me whenever I make a video, just to make sure I cover all the topics. That I want to cover but because this video is gonna be so in-depth and probably a little bit long um, I have a lot more notes and stuff so if you see me looking down I apologize I just want to make sure that I'm covering everything that I meant to so first of all the Wiccan read I guess is kind of like your Christian Bible I guess um, in a sense um, it's a lot shorter. <laughs> it literally takes up a page, maybe two. Um, that's it. Um, but in general, it is our guidelines on how to be a good Wiccan, I guess, if you will. Um, so I'm going to start by reading the read and then going after that line by line and explaining what each line means. So, bide the Wiccan ye laws ye must in perfect love and perfect trust. Live and let live, fairly take and fairly give. Cast a circle thrice about to keep all evil spirits out. To bind the spell every time, let the spell be spoke in rhyme. Soft of eye and light of touch, speak ye little, listen much. Docile go by the waxing moon, sing and dance the wicked rune. Winter shins go when the moon doth wane, and werewolf howls by the dread wolf bane. When the lady's moon is new, kiss the hand to her times two. When the moon rides her peak, then your heart's desire seek. Heed the north wind's mighty gale, lock the door and drop the sail. When the wind comes from the south, um, love will kiss thee on thy mouth. When the wind blows from the east, expect the new and set the feast. When the west wind blows o'er thee, departed spirits restless be. Nine woods, heath the cauldron go. Burn them quick and burn them slow. Elder be ye ladies tree, burn it not or cursed you'll be. When the wheel begins to turn, um, let the Beltane fires burn. When the wheel turned to Yule, light the log and let Pan rule. Heedy flower, bush and tree, by the lady blessed be. Where the rippling waters go, cast a stone in truth you'll know. When ye are in dire need, hearken not to others' greed. With the fool no season spend or be counted as his friend. Merry meet and merry part, bright the cheeks and warm the heart. Mind the threefold law you should, three times bad and three times good. When misfortune is ye now, wear the blue star on thy brow. True and lover ever be, unless thy lover is false to thee. Eight words the wicked read, fulfill, and ye harm none, do, at, do what ye will. So that is the read, and now we are going to break down each part. <clears throat> so, the first line is, Bide the wicked laws ye must, in perfect love and perfect trust. That in itself is pretty explanatory. Explanatory, meh. Um, <laughs> um, essentially, follow all the rules in the read. That's it. Um, live and let live, fairly take and fairly give. So what you take from the earth, you must give back. So if you pick a flower, leave a seed. Um, cast the circle thrice about to keep all evil spirits out. So when you're casting spells or doing a ritual and you're casting a circle, it's traditional to go once around with an athing or a wand and then go around again with incense and then go around again with water or salt but this isn't always done um, with more modern traditions. 
Um, then the next line is, to bind the spell every time, let the spell be spoken rhyme. So traditionally, it is common to power your spells by speaking them in rhyme. This is something that a lot of modern um, Wiccans or witches don't necessarily follow. They may, and that's very well good. Um, but it is not necessary to cast a spell to have it rhyme. It just helps. Um, soft of eye and light of touch, speak ye little, listen much. Um, this is kind of in reference to the evil eye, so it's rude to stare at people. Don't do it. <laughs> um, in the second half is pretty sound advice, so we learn more by listening than we do talking. Um, docile go by the waxing moon, sing and dance the Wiccan rune. So docile means uh, clockwise, and so the waxing moon is the period between the new moon and the full moon, and that is a good time to cast spells that increase things in your life, like love, money, that kind of stuff. Uh, winter shins go when the moon doth wane, and werewolf howls by the dread mood vein. So winter shins is counterclockwise. And so the waning moon is the period between the full moon and the new moon. And this is a time for casting spells like banishing spells. So getting rid of bad habits, getting rid of negativity in your life, that kind of thing. Um, when the lady's moon is new, kiss the hand to her times two. Um, during the new moon, it is just tradition to blow kisses, two of them specifically. Um, to the goddess, so to the new moon. Um, but back during the witch hunts, it was dangerous to do this as people knew it was a sign of a witch. So I guess doing it now kind of just honors the memory of witches in um, the past, I guess. Um, I think that's actually kind of beautiful. <laughs> when the moon rides her peak, then your heart's desire seek. So the best time to do magic is at the full moon um, because that's when the energy of the moon is its strongest. Um, heed the north wind's mighty gale, lock the door and drop the sail. Uh, this represents the winter season. Um, you wanna keep warm inside and avoid the storms. Um, the Sabbath um, in bulk represents uh, this line. When the wind comes from the south, love will kiss thee on the mouth. Uh, this represents the spring season. Um, it brings romance and love and the sabbat that this line um, represents is belting. The next line, when the wind blows from the east, expect the new and set the feast. Um, it represents the summer season and it brings change and unexpected visitors. Um, the Sabbath that represents this line is like the hardest one to say, and I'm probably going to screw it up, but Lugsmasad, the one, <laughs> the one after Midsummer and the one before Mabon, that one right there. I'm sorry, I don't know how to say it. <laughs> um, when the west wind blows o'er thee, departed spirits restless be. So this represents the autumn season and it brings departed souls to the Summerland. Um, the Sabbath that represents this line is Sawin. So the next line is nine woods heath the cauldron go, burn them quick and burn them slow. So in Wicca, there are nine different woods that are put in a traditional Beltane fire. And I have them all written out here. So the first one is birch, and it represents the goddess. Then there's oak, and it represents the god. We have rowan, which represents the tree of life. We have willow, and that is known as Hecate's tree, and it represents our journey to Summerland. Then we have hawthorn, which represents the fairy folk and purity. We have hazel, which represents wisdom and learning. We have apple, which represents love and fertility. We have vine, which represents joy, and its juice is said to cause heightened awareness. And we have fir, which represents immortality and is well suited to belting. Elder be ye lady's tree, burn it not or curse ye'll be. 
Now there is an elder tree, and this is the goddess's tree, and it should never be burned. It is a sacred tree. When the wheel um, begins to turn, let the Beltane fires burn. So on Beltane, this just means that it's customary to have a bonfire. Um, when the wheel turn to Yule, light the log and let Pan rule. And on Yule, it's customary to burn a Yule log. A heed ye flower, bush, and tree, by the lady, blessed be. This just says to respect nature and to take care of it. Um, where the rippling waters go, cast a stone, and truth you'll know. This refers to water divination specifically, but it can include all divinations. So when I think of this, I mostly think of scrying. Um, when ye are in dire need, hearken not to others' greed. So this means that you should only cast magic when you or someone you know is in need, not just to get everything you want. Um, with the fool, no season spend, or be counted as his friend. So this means just to choose your friends wisely. Merry meet and merry part, bright the cheeks and warm the heart. So this means to express your happiness when you see others and not to be afraid to know that you care for them. Um, mind the threefold law you should, three times bad and three times good. So we have talked about the threefold law before in either my first or second video, I believe. So essentially, whatever you put into the world will come back to you either three times as good or as three times as bad. Um, and it will come to you three times as powerful too. Um, when misfortune is now, uh, wear the blue star on thy brow. So the star is the pentacle, and when we are in trouble, we should open our third eye, which is like located right here, and listen to the goddess and spirit guides for help. True in lover ever be, unless thy lover's false to thee. So if you make a vow to your lover, um, be true to it. But if your lover breaks their vow, then your vow no longer exists. You don't have to follow that vow anymore. Eight words the wicked read fulfill, and ye harm none, do it ye will. Now this is our main, main point. If you don't take, if you were to take anything out of the wicked read, just one thing, this last line is the line to take from it. So do whatever you want. It does not matter as long as it's harming no one, not yourself, not someone else, not nature, not animals, nothing. It cannot harm anything, but as long as it doesn't, you can do whatever you want. And that is the full Wiccan read. Um, I hope you enjoyed and learned something today. Um, make sure you check out my blog, WiccansAren'tWiccan.com. I make two posts a week over there. Um, I'm also trying out making two videos a week here on Mondays and Thursdays. So make sure you subscribe so you get notifications when I upload. Um, until next time, blessed be.